Salesforce just took a massive step towards becoming your all-in-one digital HQ. Salesforce channels are here, and they might change the way your teams work across Salesforce and Slack. Whether you're in sales, service, or marketing, the days of switching tabs and losing context could be coming to an end. Let's break down what's new, how it works, and why it matters. Salesforce is officially embedding Slack into its CRM, not just as a side panel or app, but as a core part of how work gets done. At the same time, Tableau Next, Salesforce's analytics platform, is being brought directly into Slack. This is all part of what Salesforce is calling its move towards a deeply unified platform, one where your data, your workflows, and your AI agents all live in one connected environment. So what are Salesforce channels in this context? Slack channels now sync directly with Salesforce records. That means a deal, a support case, or a lead can have its own channel, and it's accessible from either Slack or Salesforce. The channels are bi-directional, so wherever you're working, in CRM or in Slack, you'll see the same updates, data, and conversation history. No more fragmented workflows just one shared space where both humans and AI agents can collaborate. You can even allow AgentForce, Salesforce's primary AI tool, to join the conversation. It can summarize discussions, act on tasks, and use Slack messages as additional context to make smarter decisions. As Salesforce put it, the goal is to break down silos, collaborate, and take action without switching tabs or chasing updates. Salesforce Ben spoke with Archna Kanan, SVP of Slack product at Salesforce, ahead of the announcement. She told us, What we're trying to do with Slack and Salesforce integration, and specifically these Salesforce channels, is break the barriers between Salesforce applications and the conversations that happen around those records. She described it as a happy marriage between the two interfaces. Salesforce is organized by records, Slack by channels. Now they're being brought together. The result? A more complete picture, combining structured customer data with unstructured team discussions, Salesforce says. On June 13th, Tableau Next will officially become available in Slack. This lets teams share dashboards, visualizations, and AI-powered insights right inside Slack. You can embed live metrics into canvases, ask Agent Force questions in plain English, and jump into Tableau Next when you need deeper analysis. It's analytics where conversations happen instead of tucked away in a separate tab or tool. With this integration, Slack is quickly becoming the operating system for work inside the Salesforce ecosystem. Let's be honest, terms like deeply unified platform get thrown around a lot. But what does this actually mean for your work though? Here's the simplest way to think about it. You should be able to work from one place, whether it's Slack or Salesforce. The systems now talk to each other, so your tools, your data, and your agents all operate in sync. We asked, could this mean one tab is all you need? One tool to rule them all? Archner's answer, no matter where you work, you have all the information you need. The data from Salesforce, the conversations from Slack, and the agents all operating together with you. That's the future they're trying to build towards. Salesforce channels and Tableau Next in Slack are not just new features. They're signals of where enterprise software is heading, towards less busy work, more automation, and seamless collaboration. Salesforce channels will be rolling out in the coming weeks. Tableau Next will be generally available in Slack starting June 13th. This move gets Salesforce one step closer to delivering not just a better CRM, but a true digital HQ. Thanks for watching. If you want more breakdowns like this, hit subscribe and stay tuned with Salesforce Band. <laughs>